All right, guys. Now, you won't believe what Mark and RJ right now are doing. We're here in a department store. I can't believe what they're buying right now. Check this out. RJ, you're buying another Ramoa? All right, there's Mark. Mark, we should pay you in marketing. <laughs> I know, I should get a commission for Ramoa. Yeah, these are our friends from Ramoa who are helping us out. Very Hi guys, good. what's your name? My name is Amal, nice oh, to meet you. Amal, <laughs> and? My name's Salimi, nice awesome. to meet you. Guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Daily Vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos. We are here in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. Be part of the Mabuhai squad. We'll be your daily dose of positive vibes around the world. Mm -hmm. So, okay, in case you're new to Ramoa, Ramoa is like a very high-end luxury baggage. And wait, before you start like rich shaming and all of this, this is a lot of money that RJ and I are investing in to like make sure our stuff is safe while we travel. And some years we're traveling so many times. You know, two years ago, we had RJ and I counted 79 flights. As in, we were on 79 planes in the year 2017 you know what I'm saying anyways we need to like invest in the stuff that we transport our stuff in because so far we based on how often we travel the suitcases we buy like die within like two years or even a year so anyway, Romoa guys they're just gonna deliver the purchase to our hotel room how convenient oh my gosh look guys bro you have a hotel here <laughs> <laughs> wow guys, this place is beautiful. Such a beautiful like piazza, like a square in the building. Okay, I got, we gotta take an Instagram photo of RJ. One of millions. Okay, ready? One, two, three, emote, emote. Okay, it's video. Wait, what? Okay, why is this on video? There, ready? One. Two, three, Amsterdam. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. One, wait. One, two. Open your eyes. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I don't know. OMG, guys. Look at these delicious desserts. Oh, oh my. Mm. RJ is looking at that. Looks good, right? Yeah. Mm. These are like pies and quiches and stuff. Oh, gluten free. Look at that. All right, so my initial thoughts of the city so far, spending like 24 hours here, Amsterdam rocks. <laughs> There's this vibrancy. There's a, the life here is so vibrant and lively and there's like clearly a, an old and fun spirit that's like through these streets. It's awesome. And like even design wise, like most of this, a lot of the streets have a canal running right through it. People are like sitting by the canal side and you know, having beers and talking and everyone is just so chill. It is a cool chill to party. I understand, I understand Amsterdam. The food is so good here, delicious food. All right guys, we're just walking through the streets of Amsterdam right now and we're heading to a really neat museum, which I'm super looking forward to. <laughs> OMG, <gasps> these desserts keep them away. Here it is, it's Rick's Museum. Apparently where a lot of Van Gogh's works are, where there's an exhibit dedicated to him, but I think right now the exhibit that's touring here is called Long Live Rembrandt. So maybe it'll feature Rembrandt's work here too. I don't know. Well, babe, we're so cultured. We're going to an art museum. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at all this commotion. <gasps> oh, my. There's a performing act. Street performer. Oops. Oh, my gosh. I hope I can be careful. I could die from a bicycle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. They really appreciate 
appreciate the arts here in, yeah. in Europe. It's so sad. Wow, but look at the instruments. We've got cello, accordions. Wow, some, I don't know what that is. It looks like a giant lute. I don't know what that is. It's massive. And a violin. <gasps> wow. Oh my, this place. Incredible. It's just RJ and I, because Ro and Aaron and Mark have been here. I don't know what to expect. Oh my, this place is busy. Oh, wow. A painting of a man with a beard. Self-portrait of Emile Bernard. Okay, interesting. What is this? Oil on canvas. Uh, memory, it's called. Oh, careful. There's like a rope. I didn't even realize. I thought someone was touching my leg. No, there's like a, a rope. You're not allowed to cross this line. You gotta stay a healthy distance away from these paintings. You know what I'm saying? Like your saliva can be touching these this artwork and degrading it. Wow. Now that's a conversation piece. Ooh, look at these cute vases and like teacups. This is such a trip. Wow. Is that a diorama or what? Look at these various cannons. Wow. OMG guys, are you guys reading my mind right now? See how big that is, this huge thing? Imagine we turn it into a massive ant farm. <gasps> this would be gorgeous. Oh gosh, this is like Mabuhai Squad house projects. Wow, I love that everyone's just admiring craftsmanship. Like the painting. See that? Look at that piece. It's crazy. Ooh. And they're, they're all so beautifully framed, these paintings. You know what I mean? So apparently Pablo Picasso's or Van Gogh. No, it's Van Gogh. Here, Van Gogh. There are three works by Van Gogh here. We just don't know where they are. <laughs> Maybe we should look at them map. We gotta find one of the three Van Gogh artworks here. Oh wow. If this is what I think it is, this is a harpsichord. Very like old instrument. Nope, I stand corrected. This is a piano. Ooh, gorgeous. Pianos back in the day were not portable. Wow, what a beautiful painting. <gasps> That's truly amazing. Like the way they've like created the lighting. I wonder if they like looked at an actual bouquet of flowers when they painted this. So nice. Okay, so according to the map, Van Gogh's work should be here. OMG. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, so famous. This painting. Okay, guys, check this out. There it is. The famous Van Gogh painting. <gasps> now I know you guys have seen this painting. It's very famous. Ooh, so cool. It's so small. Oh wow, this is awesome. People are like using pastels to paint like the scenery. It's awesome. Be, let's do a painting. Let's do a... I wish I can paint. No, not a painting, a, a portrait. We'll have to do this next time, guys. Look, even little kids are doing it. <laughs> Ooh, it's a beautiful color, guys. There's a ladybug that's black with red spots. Oh, and there it goes. RJ, it chose you. Make a wish. Make a wish. We'll have to do it next time, guys. They're closing. They're not giving out these papers and like pastels anymore. We missed the party. It's just so gorgeous. Mabuai Squad, we've met friends here. What's your name? I'm Ice. Ice. Ice is your name? Yup, and this is my brother Q. Oh my gosh, guys. Your name is? Ice. And? Q. Guys, Ice Q. Those are your names. And you're from? We're from Bahrain. They're from Bahrain. Wow. What a country. We should go visit Bahrain, guys. Okay, and because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy Amsterdam. Yeah. Yes. Bye bye, big family. Bye bye. Wow, guys, check out this awesome store. They sell like fossils and stuff and like insect mounts. Wow, ooh, taxidermied budgerigars. How darker, even scarab beetles. You see that? Wow, what a store. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the size of this ant. That is a Campanotus gigas, the largest Campanotus species found in Borneo, by the way. Awesome. Love it. By the way, Borneo is divided in three sections and there's a section that belongs to Malaysia. Have you guys seen our Saba vlogs? <gasps> Anyways, these ants exist there. I believe they changed the genus of this ant to Dinoponera though. I I I'm not sure, I gotta double check. 
there's just endless amounts of these like shops and you know specialty stores and markets it's just so cute and then like residential you see Beck, could you imagine living here it's expensive expensive oh wow look at these grapes just randomly growing here in this person's like front or side property do you like the food here in amsterdam mm -hmm. it's good right good restaurants this place ain't even playing they know their food wow guys this is such a nice area wow like just outdoor patios people hanging out Ooh. Having wine. <laughs> OMG, yeah. RJ's like, it's the Amsterdam Palenque. It's a marketplace, guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. Fish. Wow. Oh, it smells fishy here. Amazing. Just awesome. All right, guys. Now we're here chilling at a really cool, like, outdoor bar, cafe, resto place. It's raining, but we're dry. See that? And we got some Amsterdam beers. Yep. Heineken. Beers. Uh, Heineken here tastes different from Heineken in Philippines. And Mark says it's true because some Heineken is even manufactured in the Philippines. What's up with that? Oh my, it is raining. I'm so amazed RJ by like how cultured everyone is it's like I feel like everyone dresses like they love poetry you know what I'm saying yeah. like that kind of squad so we're gonna be calling it a night we're gonna party for another night here in Amsterdam but sadly not gonna take you along this time really want to just savor it but we'll see you guys tomorrow